What's up everybody? Welcome to another edition of As a Crow Flies Hiking. I'm headed on a kayak trip this weekend. I'm going over to Macon, Georgia and kayak on the Okmulgee River. I think I got that correct. I've looked up different ways to say it. We're going to do about 40 miles. We're going to go from a dam up about 40 miles from the takeout and it's I think it's the Juliet Dam or something area and from there we're going to head down Friday, do about 10 miles on Friday, camp, do about 15 miles on Saturday, camp, and then do about 15 miles on Sunday. So I thought I'd stop as I was packing and let you see what I have. Now, keep in mind, I am no expert kayaker. I've pieced together what I can over the years. I have a Perception a 12 foot kayak, maybe a little over 12, maybe 12 foot four and uh, it's worked well for me i got it used and it's a little tight in the cockpit i wish it had a little more room uh, and someday maybe i'll upgrade it but it's worked really well doesn't have a lot of bad scratches on it i have upgraded to some carbon fiber paddles so they're a lot lighter than what i'm used to having with the aluminum paddles and it makes a good bit of difference but let me show you what i've got in my bags i am carrying three different dry bags the first one I've got has the following. Of course, I got my toiletry kit. That's always gotta be in there. I've got an under quilt for my hammock. That's right, I am going in a hammock this trip. Not my typical thing, but I'm gonna try it out. And then I've got a Trekology pillow that I'm gonna be using. Of course, I've got my water filter because there'll be water all over the place. So if I need to get water, um, I'll be fine. I've also got my stakes and my ridge line that goes from tree to tree and then it has these uh, pressed hooks on each side to hold the tarp in tight and that's really nice so I'll be using that for my tarp I'm actually taking my Helinox zero chair I really like this chair and I don't have to worry about it weight in my backpack because it's gonna be in the kayak and I don't have to carry it I've also got my hammock here is the war bonnet 10 foot uh, blackbird hammock it's got a little place on one side where you can put your feet in, gives a little extra fabric, so that should be good. I've got my get out gear a quilt because it's only getting down to about 51 degrees or 52 degrees the first night, so I think I'm good with an over quilt there. And then I actually have my DIY under quilt where I took some uh, different Costco type, or maybe it was Bed Bath & Beyond, down blankets and folded them half and put a bungee cord through it and that is my underquilt. So that's all for this dry bag. Let's move over to the second one. The second dry bag which will be on the back of my kayak on top. The first dry bag will be on the kayak on the front. So in this dry bag I've got my ditty bag that I always carry all my stuff in. I've got a contractor bag that I'll lay underneath my hammock to keep all my stuff together. I've got my R1 mid-layer. It's a really good mid-layer. It should keep me warm. And then I've got like a hoodie that I use for the heat and the sun during the day. I'm actually carrying a pair of wool socks just because at night I want to have those on in the hammock. I've got a beanie. This is the one I got from Greg Morton Outdoors. Appreciate it. I want it in uh, some sort of drawing. So there's a Melanzana uh, beanie. I've got my thermal leggings in here they're patagonia they have lasted me forever they've had holes in them and we patched them up and of course i will have my hilltop packs fanny pack on got to have that that will keep all my electronics for the camera and batteries and everything right here so that i don't have to reach back for it anything i need will be there and it's very highly water resistant i'll probably also put a one gallon ziploc bag freezer bag in there just to make sure that I, I'm good with that. So my last dry bag has my Hilltop Packs food bag. Yes, yeah, it's got the uh, As A Crow Flies Hiking emblem on it. And then I've got two different meals because I'm gonna need one for Friday and Saturday night. I've got the chicken Alfredo pasta and the chicken pesto pasta. They're a little different, but they're just kind of my favorite. I love any pasta or rice or pasta with chicken. So I'll be having those on Friday and Saturday night. I am super excited. One of the reasons I'm excited because I was invited to go on this trip from uh, River Kings. If you haven't watched River Kings channel, it is a very exciting channel, whitewater and a lot of stuff that's well above my level 
uh, in kayaking. I'm just a, a floater on the kayak, so I hope I can keep up with them. This is going to have some white water, but just low-key, hopefully, white water and nothing big that we have to go over. So I hope to keep the boat upright and keep me in the kayak, stay away from bugs, keep out of the sun. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I've got. I got some uh, sunscreen and some tick spray because we're on the water, so you know it's going to be kind of rough. I even got some little wipes for mosquitoes. I'm also carrying one of these hats. I'm not a big bucket cap fan, but I really need it for this, so I'm not worried about aesthetics. Heck, I'm an old man anyway. Who cares what I look like? But I'm carrying this hat just to keep the sun off my face. If you've ever watched any of my 50, 50, 50 videos where we do 50 on a kayak, 50 in a bike, and 50 hiking, uh, on the last one we did out on the water, I had the reflection from the sun and got my hands uh, really burnt. I got my face burnt and it was a rough experience, but hopefully we won't have that. Now the third dry bag will go in the back here in this little compartment that has less. And then of course I've got my gloves. These are just like biker gloves, but I use them for kayaking. And I've got my little Z-Lite uh, sit pad. This uh, Z-Seat or Z-Lite sit pad is really good to, it's got a little hook there so I can put it on my seat and just adds a little bit of extra cushion for there. So let's head out on a trip tomorrow morning. I'm leaving out about 4 a.m. Gonna head over to Macon, Georgia. It's about three and a half, four hours away from me. Of course, I've got the time zone. I gotta remember that. that I'm gonna be in Eastern time zone and not Central. So that should be fun. We're going to get in and paddle and paddle and paddle. And I'm so excited. I haven't been on a paddling trip in a while. So I'm excited to get back on the water, maybe even a little rapids. All right, guys, well, I'll see you in this series. As I start tomorrow, I hope I can make it and keep myself in the boat. But anyway, thanks for watching As the Crow Flies Hiking. I hope you like this video, that you'll subscribe and comment below and like the video and all those things that would help out the channel. Appreciate you guys for watching, and I will see you on episode one of the kayak trip on the Okmulgee River.